Good evening folks, I'm going to have a go at landslide again. I've done it three times and each time somebody's either phoned me up or sent me a message or I've absolutely just completely forgotten what I was doing. Getting old you see, but there we go. Anyway, landslide, Fleetwood Mac. Before we begin, let's look at the pick, alright? I'm going to keep it brief. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. I'm referring to the string numbers, of course. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I want you to use your third, your first finger to play the third string and your second finger to play the second string. Now, you can do it with one finger if you want, but I wouldn't, all right? Don't use the right fingers and you'll, it'll sound much nicer. Okay, your thumb will look up to the four, the five, and the six, all right? These are things you should know anyway. Your paperwork is all on the blue link. Click on the blue link. It's all free, all right? going to get charged for anything when you get to page two it's all free all right so and you share it to whoever you want because it's mine i wrote it out so you know i don't care what you do with it you know have fun with it five three four two five three four that's the pick five three four two five three four see the way i'm blocking the strings off to get the percussive sound okay so now we're going to put our fingers on c do, do, do. You should know how to play C. You should know how to play it, so I'm not going to tell you now. If you don't, look at the paperwork. Here's the paperwork. And there's your chords. Now, there will be one or two people maybe new to my channel, so for you, for the benefit of you folks, I will explain what this is. You've got your 12 frets of your guitar, of course, your finger positions where your left hand will go, and the, and the, the, um, the, the, thing, you know, the numbers of the fingers, one, two, four, one being this one, four being this one. And down the bottom here, this is the unique little bit. This tells you what, what strings you're going to play. So five, three, four, two, five, three, four. Can you see that? And you'll notice that it does that all the way through. And if you ever see any string numbers that, that are in a bracket, it means you'll play those strings together. I mean, you'll a couple later on, but nothing too. And anything else scribbled around, it's just a little bit of direction. Okay, so shall we begin? Let me put this somewhere. So, C. Now the pick is exactly the same throughout this verse until I tell you otherwise. So once you've got that pick, all we've got to do now is substitute the chords. So C. Okay? Five, two, sorry. Five, three, four, two, five, three, four. We're done. The next chord is a G with a, a B in it. Doesn't matter what it's named. You could call it thread for all I care. This is how we play it. Take this finger and put it there. Put your little finger on the second string of the third fret. What's the pick? It's exactly the same. I'm going to explain about that chord because you know, I was being a bit lazy there, wasn't I? That's what it's derived from. See the G there? Where, if you think about the shape we've just played, we're doing that in effect. Okay, but we're using different fingers. So that's where it comes from. And it's a G with a B because we're emphasizing the B bass note as opposed to the G. All right. And I just wanted you to know that I actually knew that. All right, so let's do it again. C. G with the B. An A minor seventh. It's like the C, but with that finger missing, okay? Same pick. And then back to the G with the B. he'll play a three after the final fourth string he'll do this now there's a nice little happy coincidence if you do play that third string is you never have a finger on that string so you can actually be playing that note as you move it to other to the other chords he doesn't do it uh, that often he does it a little bit in the second half of the track but if you were to do it watch this that gap but that open third just worth knowing okay um so that's the basic pick for all the verses all right i'll play along with the track put it set up here this is fleetwood mac can you hear it turn it up a bit Okay, 
Okay, so after she sings Landslide Brought Me Down, there's a little shimmy, a little bit of a something going on there. So Landslide Brought Me Down. What's going on? What's going on? You're on the A minor seventh. You've just done this. Two. And then you so I'm going to do that again slowly. Five and two together. Three, four, three. To your to your, um, your your G with the B bass note, and you'll do the same again. Five and two, three, four, three. So, and that third string again comes into play because you can go. And after that. G plus B, you can be on your way back to the C. So that third string is really useful. I'll play through that again so you can hear. As I say, it's all on the paperwork, so don't panic if you think I'm going a bit too fast. It's 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 written, it's clear, anyone will get it. Same. keeps going and going and going um, now uh, at the end of the um, second verse you've got like a little rambly bit where she's mm, with all the ums and the ahs and you know and then she's gonna sing uh, go into the chorus so this is how that works <laughs> From the A minor seven, but instead of going back to the G with the B, it plays what's called a D with an F sharp. Okay, it's based around the D shape. And imagine you've got your thumb there, but we're doing it differently. How do we play it? Again, it's written down, but I'll show you. Second finger on the bass string at the second fret, obviously from the capo. Third string on the third string on the um, th uh, the third string at the second fret from the capo and your little finger on the second string of the third fret, okay? Now the pick is exactly the same, but you're gonna play a sixth string instead of a fifth, because we're up here. So it's six, three, four, two, six, three, four, okay? Let me get rid of this so I know what I'm working. So we've done the first couple of pages. So this is where she says, well, and then she's gonna have been afraid of changes. Okay, and the word of fret, well, I've been, is that is the G. Well, I've been afraid of changes. Cause I've been my Okay, I'm sorry I can't sing like Miss Mix, but um, here we are. She can't play the guitar. <laughs> So we've done the D. So into the chorus, which is G. Now I've put two and three on my um, G chord on the paperwork. I shouldn't have done really. I should have put one and two. That's the best way to play a G generally. But for this, I, you know, one and two is better. Why is that? Because we're coming from this shape and we're going to be going back to that shape as well. So what I want you to do is move this finger into the third fret and bring this one up to the fifth. Now, even though we're not gonna play that fifth string, I want you to put that finger on there because you might hit it by mistake. In fact, you probably will, because I do. And if I do it, then chances are you'll do it as well. But it's there as a safety measure. So if we do hit it now, at least we've got a note within the chord that won't make people laugh at us. Okay, so six, three, four, two, six, three, four. Move back to the D with the F sharp. Six, three, four, two, six, three, four. Drop to an E minor. Six, three, four, two, six, three, four. And again, six, three, four, two, six, three, four. Okay, so we've just done this bit. And they're the two E minors that we've just done, all right? I just say it's all well written out for you. Then we go back to the C. And I will know this progression because we've already played it. This is the build my world around you line. Build my world around you. Okay, so let's see what happens there. Um, C. So build. Back to your, your G with the B that we did earlier on. 
A minor seven seventh. But it's going to go back into the chorus again. So goes back to that shape. So so we've got and then into the uh, into the next bit, which is. bloody right but it's G again exactly the same as before six three four two six three four D with the F sharp E minor twice okay so we've just done that again the lyrics are at the top by the way I just thought I can't see them all right all the picks down there and then we're on to C Link will take us back in to the um, into the into the key of the verses again. Let me play that last bit, uh, last bit again. So we've gone C. And so it goes on. Now, everything you need to know to play this track is on the paperwork, all right? And the paperwork, believe me, I've made it idiot proof. And I say that for my benefit, because it's not you that's the idiot, it's me. So I have to write these things out in a way that, you know, when I'm teaching you how to do it, I can look at it and say, five, three, four, two. It's so simple once you know how to do it, okay? Um, look at it, check it out, uh, and you'll have it in no problem. Um, if you get stuck, I'm always available to you. If you, um, I don't know, message me, leave a thing, and say, oh, I'm not sure on that bar, can you go over this bit? then of course I will, not a problem for me. So I hope you've enjoyed Landslide. Let me go over it one more time. There your verses. make these things quick because the, the longer ones that I do people just don't watch them as much as the short ones so um, it's your fault all right ring me if you not ring me get in touch if you uh, if you get stuck all right in the meantime share everything you want on my channel it's all there to share the more people the more musicians in the world the better as far as I'm concerned um, yeah let's leave it there any suggestions on what you want me to do next um, let me know all right but until then see you next time I know.